when I heard this explanation of our human behaviour all those years ago, its power to explain the world was just, it was just so totally accountable. It captivated me. As a woman, this explanation was both really very arresting and confronting because, it, I mean, it's fearlessly honest about humans' contradictory nature. It makes sense of, of what it means to be a woman, our, our nurturing instincts and compassion, as well as our neuroses and vanity and emotionality. Um, it, it goes so far as to make sense of why we have developed our feminist streak to counter you know, that baffling and oppressive egocentricity of men. But what's really astonishing is that we can now understand why this egocentricity in men w was actually necessary. Until we could explain the human condition, we couldn't acknowledge the differences between men and women because it only led to prejudices. So all we could ask for, or in fact even demand, was equality. But because Griffith's work establishes the equal worth or goodness of all humans, we can now understand the different roles that men and women have traditionally played in the human journey. And this is actually the unlocking point. This is what brings about deep empathy for each other. It, it does, it heals the divide. There's a powerful quote about women's plight in Griffith's book, Freedom, from the um, South African writer, Olive Schreiner. And this encapsulates every woman's hope. And that is, to be born a woman in the future is not to be born branded, but to be valued, loved for their real self. And I mean, that's essentially what can happen now that the human condition has been explained. This explanation brings about the true liberation of women and the reconciliation of the sexes, which, I mean, it's truly extraordinary. I really implore everyone, especially women, to look into this because to be able to understand why men and women have behaved the way they've behaved was nothing short of life-changing for me.